I knew I was going to get out. I was going to get out, tell my story. 16-year-old Zaire Wilson's story is one where he spent seven weeks in custody, charged with the murder of his good friend Tyshawn Wells, a crime the Philadelphia District Attorney's Office now says the teen did not commit. He was saying I was going to go down, do 15 to 20 years for something I ain't do. Uh, I kept saying I was innocent. I ain't do it. I had nothing to do with it. Nobody listened to me until I got to the youth study center. Today, the DA's office revealed it withdrew murder charges against Wilson last month after investigators obtained SEPTA surveillance video and other evidence showing the team had nothing to do with it. Every time I kept going to a court date, kept saying, we don't have the video. So why am I here? They didn't have nothing on me. I'd had nothing to do with it. The DA's office now says 18-year-old Quadir Humphrey acted alone when he allegedly started firing into a crowd of people on the platform of the 15th Street Market Frankfurt station in Center City on January 11th. Wells was struck by a bullet and died at the hospital five days later. I live with that guilt that I wasn't by his side at the hospital or I didn't get to go to a funeral or balloon release because I was in jail and I was getting blamed for his murder. Wilson regained his physical freedom on February 29th, but his mom, Summer, says he's still trying to get it back mentally. His life has changed. The same young man that walked out my door is not the same man that came back when I picked him up from the juvenile system. She's also calling for the city to offer therapy services to families and kids like her own son after they're falsely charged with a crime. I would like my child to have a normal teenager life like he had before. As for Zaire, he says he wants to graduate high school and study criminal law to make sure what happened to him does not happen to anyone else. In Center City, I'm Brian Sheehan, NBC 10 News.